Welcome, it's Kimberly Sherry, International Energy Healer, helping you lead a life of wealth without worry. Welcome to Friday's Inspiration, TGIF. Today I want to talk about um, your money <laughs> and whether or not you're pushed by your money or whether you're pulled by your money. So let me explain um, what I mean. And when I think of a lot of different words, push, pull, you know, I, I always feel into the, um, into the energy about how these feel, how different words feel. So when you're feeling pushed, it doesn't feel good, right? It feels like if somebody's being pushy with their words or it just doesn't feel good. It feels like you're maybe being manipulated or, um, hey everybody, thanks for showing up today. Uh, it may feel like you're being manipulated. And so if you think of money as a person, you'll start to think about what kind of relationship you wanna have with your money. Do you wanna feel pushed by it? And so what I mean by that is, if you're feeling pushed by your money, you're gonna feel like you're enslaved to it. Like it's, it's controlling you instead of you being in charge. So uh, with your money, uh, when, you're, when you're feeling uh, pushed by it, you're you're not inspired by this money you you may resent it you may be angry at it you may be um jealous of other people so you know all of these energies are the opposite of abundance and flow so we don't want to feel pushed by our money we don't want to feel really pushed by anything because it it just doesn't feel good and another way that you can feel pushed by your money is when you're in debt you know if you feel like you're a slave to your money and uh, you're in debt with credit cards credit cards it's a funny misnomer it's not credit at all it's debt those are debt cards <laughs> so um you know ever since i filed for bankruptcy which was almost 10 years ago now um i never got another credit card because it always felt like i was starting from behind you start from behind and then you're you're trying to go forward from there and so that just doesn't feel like a good, uh, positive place to lead from. You know, sometimes, yes, you need to invest. And uh, so that's one of the things I wanna talk about in a minute. But, you know, if you think about friend, money as your friend, um, some people think of it as a, a good lover, is how would you treat your money? Would you um, resent your money? Would you be angry at it? Would you... Um, you know, a lot of people just disregard their money. They don't treat it with respect. Like even when your money comes in the door in the form of a bill, that bill paid for something. So even your bills should feel welcome when they come in the door. And when you make your money feel welcome, it's gonna wanna visit more often. <laughs> it's just kind of a funny thing, like your friends. If your friends, friends feel welcome, taken care of, honored, respected, they're gonna be coming around more often. So really important thing with money. So instead of being pushed by your money, instead you'll want to be pulled by your money. So if your friend is pulling you, usually it's in a forward direction, maybe upward. It feels helpful. It feels inspirational. So this is how you want to be um, with your money. And I'll give you an example how um, something like going into debt for something, maybe you were inspired to um, work with a mentor or to invest in a program uh, and you don't do it because it feels like too big of a stretch but the interesting thing I noticed this just the other day because I invested a bunch of money in um, the, the uh, publishing of my book and so uh, it was it's a stretch for me and the thing that I know about um, money is that uh, well, th this is the point I wanted to make in the difference of like this kind of debt or knowing that you have that you've committed to a certain amount of money is when I think about that money, I get inspired. It pulls me forward. It's that investment that's helping me to finally finish my book that inspires me. Of course, there's going to be times when, um, and, and this, will, this usually happens if you're new to investing in yourself, uh, that you're going to freak out. <laughs> all your money stuff is going to come out. What did I do? You know, and, and then all your scarcity and lack stuff it will come up. 
And so that's why it's better to, instead of investing like thousands, tens of thousands of dollars into uh, something, if you're new to investing, uh, start smaller where it may be a push or if you've never invested in yourself, I'm gonna give you a little, very little, easy um, way to invest in yourself when i posting a link. Uh, I created this, just a really small program. It's a mini program. It's called uh, Breakthrough. Uh, I'm ready for my breakthrough. And uh, so this is a really important first step, which is why I've made it super simple. It's only $7, like the cost of a cup of coffee. Um, so it's really important to release the anger and fear around money before you start amplifying the vibration of money because money it doesn't give you security it doesn't give you power it amplifies what's already going on in your energy field so if you get a big windfall and you have tons of fear and you have tons of anger uh, towards money in like say in your root chakra when you get that money it's just going to amplify it you're going to feel really worried about money how do i invest it what do i do with it who wants to take it from me you know um and you get scared of your money and then you start giving it away or uh, you know buying other things or so it's really important to release these two specific energies which is why i made this little mini course but it's super powerful and it's just enough to kind of break through those maybe fears of investing in yourself um if you've never done anything for yourself like this so it's a, just a very easy simple way of starting to break through some of maybe your money programs maybe some of your money fears so this uh, little mini course um, will help you break through those fears help you identify what some of your fears are um, it has a really powerful hour meditation in there that's going to help you release these so I, I go in energetically on these meditations and help you release those um, help you release those fears and uh, much of your anger because anger is hey John <laughs> anger is the opposite of abundance and flow and so is fear so super important so I'm gonna leave a link to that and there's also a subsequent um, another mini course I just created two because I think they're really important uh, the second one is about uh, creating um, let's see amplifying your money vibrations but first you want to release the anger and fear first and then the, both seven dollar products really nothing um, you'll spend more going out to dinner <laughs> so um, anyway it's a great way to start to help you release some of these uh, energies that are blocking your money flow and that don't allow you to feel inspired by your money you feel like a slave to your money there's a very big energy on the planet right now uh, that is influencing everybody. And this is the energy of the 1%. And this is an energy that wants you to feel enslaved. This is how they work. Uh, this is kind of the whole program that the, the planet is in right now. We're all in slavery to this 1%. And so some to a bigger degree than others, it's something that, that I can measure. Uh, but more importantly, it's something that I can find in the energy field and help you release it. So that's some of what happens in the meditations in those both of those programs. So I'm going to uh, post that link. Maybe you can spend the weekend uh, raising your money vibrations, getting rid of some of those fears and um, some of the anger that you might be having towards money. So uh, yeah, check it out and you can look into it to see if it's something you want to do. But I think it's just a super easy first step towards breaking through your uh, lack mindsets and your fears around money and I can really focus on uh, finishing my book the name of the book is access your ultimate power the blueprint to infinite intelligence so there's lots of ways that this uh, book addresses being able to step into all different kinds of power whether it's the power of your voice the power to feel safe in your body uh, the being able to know the difference between your ultimate power and a false sense of power that permeates the planet 
It's especially designed for women, but of course everyone will be able to benefit from it. I'm focusing on women because I know that women are stepping into a new paradigm of power. It's a, a power that's minus the anger, minus the fear, so that they're not acting or behaving like pushy, angry male energy. And it's a way for women to really tap into the depths of their heart, using the power of their voice to really be able to set clear boundaries and to be able to ask for what they need so they don't need to be angry. So it's a, I'm really excited about this book. Uh, it also is um, explaining about how I broke through Dr. David Hawkins' scale. He wrote the book Power Versus Force, and he created a scale of human consciousness and awareness. That scale only went to 1,000. So in 2012, I broke through that scale, now goes to infinity. So now we have infinite possibilities available in all these different uh, places where we can access our power. So I'm really excited about it. Uh, so stay tuned and you'll know when it's going to be available. So I'm looking forward to that as well. So enjoy your weekend. Take a look at these two little links I'm going to post and start breaking through your lack mindset so that you can allow money to really inspire you and pull you forward in a really good way. All right, thank you for joining me today and uh, sending much love and namaste. And <laughs> my favorite question, what is it? How? How does it get any better than this? Stay in that blissful question of, I wonder. All right, much love, friends. Bye-bye.